Hello, 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 hello. I am doing back to back to back videos today. So not even doing a costume change or anything. I've changed the orientation of where I am. Don't know when this video is going to get loaded up, but however, allow me to introduce myself. If you have stumbled weirdly across my channel for the very, very first time, my name is Grace from Diamond Paint with Grace. Hello, and if you're coming back, welcome back and thumbs up to you. Thank you so much. Did the title catch your eye? I know, I know, a Diamond Art Club cover minder. It's true, it's true. I'm not gonna give anything away. However, we are going to end up with one by the end of this video. Just, just stick around and watch what's going to happen. Um, it's gonna be a hit and miss type thing. We're gonna do it together like I always do. And you're gonna sit here and watch all the hits and misses like you always do, but that's just simply how I roll. And without further ado, please, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel and part of my diamond painting world, hey, what are you waiting for? The subscribe button is right down. Follow the fingers, follow, see these two fingers? Yep, they're still a bit icky icky from the map video that I just did. I don't know what order the videos are gonna be uploaded, uploaded <laughs> off our buzz because I have no idea how this little project of mine's gonna to work today. But I thought it's going to be fun and I'm excited. So follow the fingers, subscribe button's down there in that little corner. Hit that button next to that, it's a notification bell. Yay! It's shaped like a bell, guys. I know, right? Funny thing that. Mm -hmm. If you press that button and hit all, you'll get notified each and every single time I upload a new video. I want to get into this and I want to show you exactly what we're doing today and how we are going to have, by the end of today, a Diamond Art Club cover reminder. I know. Come with me, guys. I'm going to flip the camera around and get you onto the table. Well, put the camera onto the table, okay? So come with me. Okie dokie. So you've joined me today and you're curious about what we're doing. This is what you're going to need. Well, this is... You know what, I haven't done one of these, guys. I haven't done one. And I am going to go through the trials and tribulations with you. Uh, it's a bit of shine there from some glue or I'm not sure what that is. Anywho, uh, I'm gonna go through the trials and tribulations and I'll probably end up uh, tweaking this as I go along. However, I said from the get-go uh, that I always wanted to do something different, different to the norm when it comes to a particular thing that we get within our Diamond Art Club paintings. So for today, this is what I've got prepared and I may need to change things up as I go, but this is what I have envisaged needing. I've got myself a craft mat. It's a self-healing craft mat here, okay? I've got myself an X-Acto knife, which I already have. I don't know if I will require, but I've got myself some craft uh, skizzers right here. I've got this stuff here. Uh, now, does it have a name on it? Let's have a look. Ah, uh, can I do this this way? It's a plywood sheet, okay? Um, uh, it's right up against the wall, so the angle is really, really hard to get so that you can see. But it's a plywood sheet, and to read you these measurements, it's 300 millimeters by 450 millimeters by two millimeters, okay? Uh, purchase from Spotlight, okay? Purchase from Spotlight. So I've got this, and you're still probably wondering, Gracie, where is this going? <laughs> okay, bear with me. I have here a ruler, okay? I figure I'm gonna need this, a ruler, and I have a steel one. This is just my craft ruler. It's got a rubber piece here, which allows for non-slipping when I'm using it. So I have a ruler. Oh, are you on the, oh no, that's not gonna help. Yep, you are on the highest thing. So that's okay. So you keeping up? One, two, three, that. I have, what else have I got? What else? So these three I already had at home. This I've purchased, okay? I will link all the product details in the description below. This was from Spotlight. I scored this stuff. Now, this, I have no idea. Oh, here we go. Uh, glitter gold. 
Okay. Uh, what else does it say on here? Derice, uh, it's adhesive. Okay, so it's actually a sticker. It's a gold sticker, which works perfectly for what I need it to do. Because today is a, uh, a trial of what I want it to do. Okay, so there's that. And these are huge, guys. These are, does it have measurements on here? Uh, there is no measurements but this is like super huge and they were on the clearance rack at spotlight and i think i got them for like a dollar a sheet so you know what i scooped up a whole bunch <laughs> i scooped up a whole bunch and when you see how much i'm actually going to need for what i want to do you're going to be going wow gracie you got enough there to supply the entire diamond planting community true true okay what else? I got me some magnets. Okay, Crafts for Creation, RB is the brand. Again, uh, Spotlight. Okay, and these are heavy, heavy duty ma magnets. Like, I actually got two packets. Okay, and they're pretty strong magnets. Okay, all right. So, you're still wondering where is all this heading? Okay. When I very first started uh, unboxing Diamond Art Club paintings on my channel, I always said that I wanted to have different to the norm uh, type uh, purposes for the stickers that you get in your kits, okay? So this, I am still working on my Chuck Pinson painting and these are the stickers that I never did put on my box I've always kept them okay and this is the big one I still haven't come up with something for this yet uh, that's still in the works however guys what I figured with these stickers is you know what happens I know the suggestion is put them in your journals yes Yes, put them on your box, definitely, so that you can easily identify what painting is in each box if you have a stash of them to look at. What then, though, you know, you can still do that because, of course, once you take it out of the box, you can still uh, do what I'm about to do with this, okay? So what I'm going to do is make a cover minder out of this sticker, and the cover minder, okay, I don't have not one cover minder. I've not needed one. I've not been really enticed to get one. They don't really do, you know, too much for me to wish to collect them. That's just my choice. I don't, I don't have a necessity for them. However, this is going to be a dual thing because it's going to double up as a cover minder. I'm going to trial it in my, whip in, in my diamond painting. Um, and then I'm hoping for it to be a badge that, oh, sorry, not a badge, a magnet that I can put on my fridge. So how are we going to do this? I hear you ask, I hear you ask. Well, this is how we're going to do it. I haven't decided, do I want just this to be visible or do I want all of it to be visible? That is where I'm struggling. That is entirely where I am struggling, uh, like really struggling. Like I, I don't know whether I want to keep the integrity of, you know, the name and who it's by and the diamond shape and all of that for memory's sake on my cover minder or do I want just the painting? I mean, I am going to do it this way for now and then we can always tweak it because once I cut it, I can't put it back on. But I suppose if I do it this way and take that off, I can always trim it down if I want to. So, this was the thought process. This was the thought process. Uh, I got this to give it stability, okay? And this was to make it pretty on the outside, okay? So the idea would then be, I guess I want to cut this out first 
and then cut enough of this to wrap around it. So let's do that first. As I said, guys, this was a, a brainchild. Uh, not much further than that has gone into it. So if we measure this, uh, it is uh, fabulously not exactly, you know, to the centimetre of anything. So it's going to be, you know, the easiest thing to do would be this, wouldn't it? That, oh, goodness. But I don't want to put it on there just yet. That's the problemo. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? What if I use this as a template? Would that work? So if I pop that back on here. And I did like that. I'm sure there's an, a much easier way to do this. But hey, you know, like I said, happy to do the the testing I mean you know you can also do the smart thing and measure right <laughs> that would be just the logical thing um, but let's do it this way I'm just going to use this as a template to cut with the hope that I can't really get it wrong then. True people. True, true, true. True, true. Okay, so if I do that, get get my ruler, get my exacto and cut on the inside, I should be good to go. One would hope one would i don't even know if my exacto is going to cut through this but we're soon going to find out hopefully my buff head won't get in the way make it nice and straight Okay, well, we've got a mark at least. <laughs> That's a start. <laughs> That's a start. That's a start. Okay, let's get these gunky bits out. And of course, that has stuck on there. Of course it has. Why wouldn't it? Of course that's done that. Why wouldn't it, right? True. True. Okay, so... I got through that one more. I just want to get into a more comfortable position. I think the smarter thing, guys, would have been to actually measure it, okay? Uh, that would have been the smarter and less painful way to go about it. But, you know, crafting is all about discovering, you know, new things and new methods and improving uh, how we do things so it's going to take a while to cut through so hopefully that lends itself to meaning that it will be nice and sturdy as well so let me just get this rule nice and straight again just making another incision a bit stubborn but okay, that's all right, we'll get there. Patience, patience, patience. Please always have patience if you're working with one of these knives because they are so super sharp. Okay, that's cut through that way. Little bit of time, little bit of effort. And you will get something that you can't buy anywhere else. Something that you've made yourself. Something that is accompanying the painting that you're doing. Okay. And something that's really unique. Okay, so. 
there's that. What I essentially want to do with this is now make sure that the back is covered really, really nicely. Okay, so what we're going to do is, where are those magnets gone? Let's get these magnets out because the smart thing to do, in my mind, and I'm hoping that there's two in here. That would be awesome if there was and not just one. Um, where are those skizzers gone? Let's just do that, shall we? Is there two? No, there is only just one. I thought there might have been two stuck together. Hang on. What can you see? No, there is only one. Okay. Okie dokie. All right. That's fine. So what we want to do is cover the back of this so that it's all, you know, covering the ugly, ugly. Then this will be on the top. Yep. But what we're going to do is we're going to kind of fold it so that all the folds of this are going to be underneath here. Make sense? All right. I know what I'm doing. I hope. <laughs> and if I don't, that's okay too. So essentially we want to wrap it like a present. So we need twice this amount. So we're going to go one and two. It doesn't have to be exact. So let's we can straighten it up using the line on our crafting here. So that'll give us a bit of a good line, you know, to straighten it. Okay, so one time, two times, and a little bit more just for good measure. Even if we go three times. Again, you can use your line here to guide, okay? This will be easier to cut through. Yep. And then, same, same, line this up with your grid to get a nice straight line. Pardon the bump. Let's do it here so I can actually see properly, Gracie. Okay, so see that? See how I've lined that up? Okay, and then line this up here. And we want roughly the same. Now, I'd rather do it bigger and cut it down, really, uh, than short change and then have a useless piece all together. So, Let's just, oh, why isn't this? Is that, no. This is not getting done with any degree of finesse, but you know. Just make sure that cuts through. I'm cutting my ruler. That's not cool. All right. Pop that aside. Now, is this going to see what I want to do? And then that's going to fold. So, what we want is essentially to take this off. Having these nails is not helping. Come on. Oh my goodness. Really not helping. Struggle, struggle, toil and trouble. Okay, got it off. Now, if you don't happen to come across any double-sided fancy schmancy paper like this, don't fret. I happened to just walk in at the right time, scored a, scored a bargain, picked it up, and it was pretty, it was glittery, it was sparkly, uh, it's fine. It's not necessarily maybe in line with the colors, but I don't care. This was more just for the project itself. So um, you can use any color paper that you want and just use some glue. Uh, it does not have to be adhesive, self-adhesive like this. So. The thought process will be to have this uh, on the middle. Yeah, okay, so let's pop that there. Oh, it's not very straight. 
thank goodness that I might use my tweezers because my nails are just not okay let's um pop it smack bang in the middle yep yeah? smack bang in the middle and straight Gracie okay doesn't have to be exact because you're not going to see it this will go here okay see what I'm doing that's going to go there pretty much this will then the way that I'm envisaging will be like you know when you're wrapping a present so you'll cut kind of on that angle and then on that angle and then like so again you don't have to oh god well when i say you don't have to be exact try and keep this there the smarter thing would have been for those that know the smarter thing would have been to get a pen and mark these points but hey you know it's fine it's fine it's fine i don't like how that is like that so we'll see how that works out it's a very rudimentary experiment right now but who better to share it with than you guys all right so the idea peeps is bring this up okay. oh okay it flipped back <laughs> bring that up straight make sure it's like so bring this in okay take this tab off bring this across see how I, I don't ah oh, see that's not going to matter that's fine don't fuss don't stress and then bring this one in okay This is your back. This is your front. And you're probably thinking, what a mess, Gracie, that this looks like. Okay? No, no, no. No, no, mon shorty. This is where you get your sticker now and place it. If you've done your measurements ever so, you know, as carefully as you can, place it like so. This one's going to end up with a slight little border. That's fine. Doesn't have to be exact. Press it down. Okay. There's that. Let's crack open. Oh, lucky that I didn't assume that there were two magnets in one, that there's only one magnet per packet. There's two. Let me get my painting and let's see if it works. Okay, so as you can see, I'm still working on my Chuck Pinson Call of the Wild. I wanted to say also, if someone else has come up with this already, I'm, I, I apologize way in advance. I've not seen it done before and hence why I thought I would put it out there. So this is my DIY <laughs> Diamond Art Club cover minder now i say diamond art club but you can be very very inventive and print off the photo of the paintings that you've ordered and make them yourself you will always have a cover minder to match the painting that you're actually doing with the painting itself so let's see if the magnet thingy me jiggy works as it should i've left everything underneath that's how quick i wanted to test this let me just scooch it all out okay nice and flat so again i've not used cover minders before however the idea is that when i peel this back 
okay like so in order to keep this flat I would put my cover minder here as I've seen done by so many others oh and it works look at that look at that how's that guys now you can do this any which way like I said you can cut just this out and have just the picture I chose this one to keep it with the name here I don't know what if I will keep it like this moving forward I don't know whether or not moving forward or my other ones will simply have this but when this painting is all done and dusted this will go on my fridge see how it works double 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 um, and then I, I'll only need one of the magnets for my fridge because I won't need the back one to hold it so there you go there you go I hope <laughs> I hope that's something new, new that you've not seen before. Uh, a DIY cover minder using, you know, most of the things that you have already got. You don't need that plywood if you're smart. If, if, not if you're smart, sorry, that's very, very insulting. I don't mean that in a bad way. If you want to be even more resourceful, you can just use a piece of the cardboard from the box that the painting came in just to give it that stability. I mean, just any colored piece of paper and then all, all you need to do is get some magnets. Boom, 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 job done. <laughs> so look guys, I hope that's been, you know, something different uh, to enjoy. My own very first ever cover minder. I've not had one before ever, I haven't purchased one. And I'm so proud to say that I actually made my own and it matches my painting. So boom, done. If you've gotten to the end of this video, I do wish you a great thumbs up and I hope that wherever you are in your part of the world, are you somewhere like this today? Are you? Oh my goodness. Uh, wherever you are in your part of the world that you are looking after uh, yourselves, that you're looking after each other, I am sending you all uh, much love <laughs> and ciao ciao for now.